Sish Dunlapola, Centre for Inquiry. In the previous session, of the UPR um, of Saudi Arabia was tabled. For the report, the country had described the killing of its citizen, Jamal Khashoggi, a tragic accident. They promised to find out all the facts, yet since the last session, Saudi Arabia has not provided the world any further insight into the murder. Sincere investigations have, however, been carried out by the UN. Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamar concludes that the death of the journalist was a deliberate execution for which the Crown Prince was directly liable. The disinformation about the Khashoggi case is not the only part of the report where Saudi Arabia deliberately misinterpreted its practices. In the report, the country's delegation is quoted with the claim that the laws of Saudi Arabia guaranteed freedom of opinion and expression to everyone without discrimination. We, of course, all know that this is far from true, as the cases of Raif Badawi and the recently imprisoned female human rights activists clearly show. The UPR and the interaction with other countries offer great opportunities for countries to reflect on and improve their human rights rec record. We fully support the inclusion of countries with many areas that demand improvement. However, a country that is unashamed to lie so blatantly during the UPR as well as here in the House and to the general public is undermining the core purpose of this Council and is seriously damaging its reputation. We urge the President and the High Commissioner to develop minimal standards for countries to be electable into the HRC.